Good evening, everyone. So we have Mr. Rahul Kumar Shivastav from Lactalis India. Uh, welcome, sir. Sir, I would like to ask you a few questions here. Sir, what is your view on the future roadmap of nutrition and nutrition-related awareness and in implementation in India? Yes, because we know that in India, nutrition is a very, very important and very crucial aspect of uh, overall health of the you know countrymen. And in the uh, conference also, we discussed that uh, what are the key factors you know which in in uh, providing nutritious food uh, to uh, to our our uh, population and uh, and we have lot of challenges because if you see our nutrition uh, index and uh, health index or overall index we are very poor we are the largest uh, you know one of the largest uh, uh, country second most populous country in the world and the number of people who are having poor you know health and weight and all this thing are highest in india and this is a very very big problem because it also affects the overall economic development in india because our people are poor they are not healthy and they don't contribute the way they should uh, contribute so they, they, we have a lot of challenges uh, for uh, for providing nutrition uh, to our uh, big uh, big population and it needs a very comprehensive view that what kind of nutrition we can provide whatever resources we have so we are talking about milk which is milk is a, we, we are the largest country uh, producing country in the world so how the milk can uh, play a very important role to provide nutrition to the people of india uh, we are largest producer of the milk in the uh, in the world but we also have most under uh, malnourished uh, population in, in the world so there is there is something gap is there where we are we are talking about we have supply side but we are not able to cater to the people who, those who need the nutrition so there are other challenges like you know uh, what else you know we, because we have we also lack micronutrients in our diet so we are talking about various minerals and vitamins and all this thing so whether fortification can help us how we can we can execute the fortification in our food whether it's a rice or or a milk or or flour so there are lot of opportunities lot of ideas are there lot of r and d has a, has been happening uh, to provide nutritious food the only thing is that it has to make a kind of a business model where people can really invest money in in those uh, kind of uh, projects and uh, overall nutritious food can be provided we were talking about organic food also whether you know whether certain section of society they think that organic food is is better uh, place in terms of nutrition that also is, uh, is having uh, uh, you know good market but if you are talking about overall nutrition in india when we are we are taking comprehensive will not only the cities or rich people for the for the poor people whether it's urban poor or rural poor we have to take a very comprehensive view a lot of opportunities are there and we have to ensure that that people are getting nutritious food very rightly said sir also sir where do you see, uh, see the india's nutrition industry in the next 10 years yeah as i said that you know when there is a demand then they has the, the industry has to evolve okay so whether it's a dairy industry or the people or the or the industry which are making some kind of supplements or some kind of concentrate uh, where they are basically fulfilling the you know uh, the deficit what 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 we have in, in nutrition there are, there are also new uh, kind of industry which are uh, which are going to develop like you know we are talking about natural food we are talking about ayurveda we are talking about herbs and and and, and natural plants and all these thing we are talking about today now we are talking about the ayurvedic products like like ashwagandha and the gilo uh, tulsi brahmani so this kind of you know uh, products are going to be more and more popular because people think that these are better than any 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 um, allopathic medicine or allopathic supplement so this kind of industry will go i would also say that even the dairy industry you know there are a lot of opportunities to uh, to use whey protein uh, in terms of you know getting uh, more nutrition uh, nutritious product to uh, our countrymen and overall the 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 the, the way uh, you know people are now started thinking after 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 pandemic i'm not saying the pandemic is going to change the entire behavior of eating uh, uh, eating after worse when settles down people will be normal but at least people have realized that what is the meaning of safe healthy and nutritious uh, food products so basically those kind of uh, behavior change where people would like to uh, you know to prefer nutritious food rather than going for junk food and, and not so healthy food so this will really create a good opportunity for lot of industries to uh, to flourish and and develop uh, in indian market Thank you so much for that, sir. And lastly, I would like to ask you, how do you find the India Food Nutrition Summit and Awards? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I I, I attended uh, this uh, uh, first time. Let me tell you, and it was quite well uh, covered. I I I saw some panel discussion, which was very good. The speakers were very good. I also interacted with some of the participants, some of the my uh, ex colleagues, uh, you know, and they were also uh, very very happy. I think this is a very good, uh, well organized uh, uh, concept uh, with the with the very relevant. Uh, 
a theme. Uh, we are talking about a very relevant theme of nutrition in India. So, uh, very good job. Thank you so much for that, sir. We will love to have you in our next editions as well. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir.